Hey there, it's Chris Sev with Sourcegraph. Today I want to look at our Kodi extensions in both VS Code and in JetBrains IDEs. So we have a new addition to our LLMs, really exciting stuff. Claude 3 recently came out and both of our extensions have support for them. So just to take a quick look, here I am in VS Code. I want to go here, highlight this section right here. I'm going to type in option L to start a chat. And traditionally, we're starting out with Claude 2.1. Here we go. We have Claude 3 Sonnet and Opus. So you might be thinking, well, Opus is more expensive. Maybe they're limiting it, uh, the usage of it. Nope. You have Claude 3 Sonnet as much as you want, and you have Claude 3 Opus as much as you want. And this is exclusive to our Kodi Pro users, so you can sign up today. And I'm going to just drop that in here. How do I use this component? And in my personal experience, I've found that Cloud3 Opus has been fantastic for just answering questions. It's really, really good at uh, finding the nuances in your code base, I think, especially compared to 2.1. And I even see improvements over GPT-4 Turbo as well. So there you go. It just walks us through how to use that component, uh, the different props in that component, and then if I jump over to JetBrains, I have WebStorm here. I have Cody over here. And again, you see Sonnet and Opus. I'm going to select Opus here. So there you go. You have Opus in VS Code and you have Opus in JetBrains. And you can ask it as many questions as you like. So hopefully that helps you out with any of the questions in your code base. And I hope that makes Cody an even more powerful tool for your use cases.